So in the previous lesson, we saw how we can able to uh, print the hello world every second onto the debug section on the uh, node rate flow. Now in this lesson, we want to do something more meaningful, something more extract. So I'm going to select the node flow that we have designed. So I will just select this node flow. Okay, and then press the delete button and then I will press this deploy again. So the blank node flow, then look at this flow one will be deployed. And then if I clear by clicking this uh, delete button here, the clear icon, you see it stopped printing hello world, right? Now let's do something more meaningful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to blink or control the LED connected to Raspberry Pi, which is GPI Open 21. So I'm going to take two inject boxes like inject one and inject two. Okay. And then I'm going to look for a Raspberry Pi boxes and I will select Raspberry Pi uh, GPIO out box. It's basically to control the Raspberry Pi pin. And then I'm going to take one debug box just to test whether what logic I'm writing is right or wrong. And then I'm going to so they, basically this first inject box, if I double click, I will give it a name on and then I will say it will print number one. And it's basically when we press the button, this the first inject node, then it will send one to GPI open 21 on Raspberry Pi and that's turn on the LED. And then the second inject box, I will give it a name off or FF and it will, let's say, take a number and it will send zero. So when we press this uh, node, the second node, it will send zero. So it will turn off the LED uh, connected to GPIO21 pin. And you see the pin Raspberry Pi node, so I can double click. And I configure this GPIO21 pin because that's where our LED is connected to. And then I'm going to wiring this things up like the on node has to connect to GPIO 21 and then off will connect to GPIO 21 and then debug will connect the input and uh, output of on and off both should connect to the debug as well. So we can see what's basically uh, going to our GPIO pin 21. That's the physical pin 40 basically. So when I deploy the node, okay, now you might see the OK shows up and by default the LED is on because maybe the logic is high by default. And when I press this backside, OK, lower tail, so it will print, it will send basically zero. Look at the inner debug section, it sends zero and LED is turn off. So when I press this on button, backside of the on button, this will send one and LED turns on. When I press off, LED turns off when I press on LED turns on. So that's how easy it is to control the LED uh, connected to Raspberry Pi. Now, if you don't want like this, you can make a precise buttons and you can control through buttons. Now, if you search here uh, on the top, left corner button, you cannot see the button because the UI widgets is not installed here yet. So now if you want to install uh, the node flow, which doesn't exist in your library in the left pan, then you have to go to top right corner. That's the menu. And then there is something that say manage palette. And then under the install, you have to search contrib. And if you search contrib, then you can scroll down somewhere. Contrib. Okay, so I'm not able to find it. So I will just search contrib, C-O-N-T-R-I-B-E, or I would just search UI, user interface, and maybe I would see something. Okay, and you see node red contrib UI. This is the node that you have to search under the install sections. You can either search with this or you can search this complete name here. And uh, sorry, I was overexcited. I have to go to manage palette. And then under install, I have to search this node palette and I have to click on install. And this basically then click install again. 
and this basically install all the UI elements like gauge, button, slider and all other fancy stuff that you need with um, um, with your node rate. Maybe you don't want to press this um, uh, inject node, you rather want to control over button. So I can close this and uh, I can just uh, select this node and delete. Okay, and this time on the top left corner, I see the buttons and I would connect this button. I would take two buttons. Okay, and then I will connect the buttons to GPIO 21 pin. Just the same program like before. And uh, then just structure it properly. Let me click on this button and then click on this edit icon and then say home and dashboard and say add just this edit icon right let's say update and then we have to say the name which is on and the payload is one because when we press on button it will send one that turn on the led and then second button we have to again select the home and dashboard here update it on this edit icon and give it a name off off and this will send a payload zero and say done okay and now select the debug on the right side of the pan and then on the top right corner there's a deploy button you can click deploy and you might see the led by default is turned on it just doesn't matter whether it's on or off but if i open the new tab and uh, let me just copy this url and in the new tab i will put the uh, url that's the raspberry pi's ip address colon 1880 for the node rate port and slash and then say ui and hit enter and you can see a nice two buttons on and off button so if i press the off button led turns off when i press on button led turns on so on and off so and if you look at this you can see the one and zero prints up so let's say if i press off then you see the zero prints so led turns off so if i press on led turns on and you see it print one so that's turn on the LED. So that's how we're going to install the UI elements on our Raspberry Pi. Now, if you want to install the cloud specific nodes, then you have to go again in the top right corner and then go to maybe manage palettes and then under install. Let's say if you want to install the node for IBM. So I would search IBM Watson and then hit enter or I would rather just search only Watson and then you see the Watson specific node like the one maybe you're interested is connect to IBM Watson Internet of Things platform as a device or gateway so if you let's say if you want to connect your Raspberry Pi to IBM Watson you can install this this node right and just click on install and say install and this will install the IBM specific node flows which you can use it from the left side of the pan and then you know develop your logic so basically my point is uh, this node rate is very scalable and very powerful just the way you can install the node flows for the IBM Watson you can install for AWS for Azure for Thingworks for almost anything you can connect to Alexa or some other third party very uh, different and interesting toys right so it takes maybe a couple of minutes I think it takes a little longer than I expected. Okay, you see it has installed the WIOT means Watson IoT platform. So let me close this. Uh, palette manager and then I can close this and if I can search now let's say Watson you can see I have the Watson 
uh, node input node and output node of the Watson we can use it in the future lessons if we want to connect a Raspberry Pi to uh, Watson IoT platform now if you want to start if you want to stop the node flow okay means node rate you see you, on your Raspberry Pi you can just press ctrl C and that will stop the node flow this is how we're gonna stop the node 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 red basically running on raspberry pi i hope you will find this video educational and entertaining if you like it please give a thumbs up or you can check out my courses on the youtube description box thank you very much and see you into the next lesson bye